When your body digests food, it breaks down complex carbohydrates into smaller molecules. The simplest carbohydrate is glucose, a type of sugar. Glucose quickly passes into the bloodstream. It's a vital fuel because it's the only energy source that could be used by cells in the brain and nervous system. A spot of blood on a special indicator is all that's needed to measure the amount of sugar in the blood. These two people haven't eaten since yesterday. For both, the concentration of glucose in their blood is just over 5 millimoles per litre. So what will happen after they consume a litre of fruit juice loaded with 100 grams of glucose? Just 15 minutes later, and their blood sugar has increased to around 8 millimoles per litre. To find out how physical activity affects glucose levels, one of our subjects gets on an exercise bike, while the other sits still and relaxes. Half an hour later, and their glucose levels are tested again. Our cyclist's sugar level has already fallen from 8.3 to 5. Even though a large amount of glucose has been ingested, it seems to have disappeared. The blood sugar level of our inactive subject is falling too. The body is regulating the amount of glucose in the blood. The organs involved are the liver and the pancreas. The liver is reddish brown in colour and is the largest organ inside the body. The pancreas produces enzymes and hormones. If your blood is rich in glucose, it stimulates the pancreas to release a hormone called insulin. Insulin makes the liver remove the glucose and store it as a carbohydrate called glycogen, reducing the amount of sugar in the blood. Vigorous exercise also affects the level of glucose in your blood. When your muscles are working hard, they're using glucose as a source of energy. The blood sugar level of our magazine reader rises and falls gently. The bike rider's sugar level falls more dramatically. But what if he kept on going? What would happen if too much glucose was removed? When the blood contains too little glucose, the pancreas releases a hormone called glucagon. This makes the liver convert some of its stored glycogen into glucose and increases the blood sugar content, bringing the glucose level back to normal. <laughs>